and welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, where I know you guys are super excited to see, look Support. at all these, look at all these supports, but like after this point, there's only a couple more, and it'll be, Sad. well, we'll just blast through the plot Sad. at that point. See, That's like, true. See, like, he has one. So, yeah. So, like, there's a few that still need a little bit of help, mm. but, you know, we can get them a there. A little bit of work. Yeah. It's not that hard. Set it. Why are you praying? I'm like part of the church. Is something the matter? I'm a motherfucking saint. <laughs> Though not as surprised as you when you found me here before. I've never seen you offering up prayers so solemnly. I suppose I do typically make an effort to come here when no one else is around. That includes you. To me Farewell. Forgiveness. I do not wish to disturb anyone's prayers with my own. But I did not come here only to pray. I'm more a uh, Given thanks and remembrance to my dead to family. Sabrina. She is a special figure to me. <laughs> it's become part of my routine to swear this oath before her likeness. More than any other, she wishes for a peaceful world. I believe it is my duty to grant it. Man, dude, You're just such a dad. <laughs> sing through his fucking shit. The legends of Saint Cethlune do depict her as a kind, proper, and well, it's crazy because you've talked to her. And yeah. She's so gentle and quiet. Really. And she's super sad. interested in fucking uh, operas right now. <laughs> with her. I think you may have misunderstood me. Infatuation. It must be very lonely to be so in love with someone. Um. She's my daughter. <laughs> she's very special to me. Yes, but not in that way. You don't have to hide it from me, said it. I, you're looking for a romance where it is not. Said it's like I this is fucking dangerous territory, but I don't know how to fucking say no. You're wrong. 100%. If you turned your eyes to me. Oh my god. Respond to your deepest most desperate. Hashtag #desperate. You are completely mistaken. If he breathes, he can be a partner. <laughs> I know it's short because I have an A plus, but god damn, that felt really short. <laughs> you know? Well, because it's like, where do you go from here? She fucking won't shut the fuck up about his That's... love for his, his his romantic love for his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, ah, I Can't hate that she bothers me. Yeah. And she's like, I don't understand why. She seems like a cool woman. And she's like, she never, she's never been a woman. She's fucking like she's 14. Kid. Yeah. You should tell her. She, well, she's Saint Cethlene, and no one will believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Goons. No, Catherine's at it again. <laughs> she has charged too far forward. I better join her before she. Before she he, he links y'all. Yeah. yeah. Are you all right? That's what I was going to ask you. How could you be so reckless? Excuse you. You're reckless. You me, and now you get yourself all beaten up. To think, nearly getting yourself killed in a minor skirmish like this one. <laughs> Quite right. Thankfully, I am not badly hurt. As you see, no wounds on me right now. Yep. I, there is no blood. I just uh, winded. <laughs> <laughs> Got kicked in the chest, you know, knocks the wind out of you. God, I hate that where you just like, you feel like you can't breathe. Yeah. What are you even doing here? Just happened to be passing through? Said it. This isn't like you bumped into me on a stroll around town. Nobody passes <laughs> through a battlefield. I had errands. All right. <laughs> I wanted to protect you. You piece of shit. Well, you fucking are too busy being in the front lines. <laughs> recklessly. Too far ahead. I feared your life might be in danger. Once that thought occurred to me, I could not stand idly by. It'd be cool if they put them in like armor for these scenes. I know, right? Imagine him showing up in this outfit. <laughs> on, like, the wyvern. <laughs> People be like, oh, look! Cloth! Pink. <laughs> Pink. I guess we really are companions. I did not do this merely to assist an ally. I did it for you. I don't want to lose you. I... I... That is the most forward I've ever seen him. I am willing to risk my life to protect you. Just think how much scolding I am capable of. So you had best take better care of yourself. All right, you've made your feelings clear. When you say it like that, I can't refuse. I'm sorry for making you worry all the time. I'll be more careful. I promise. Please do. Please, I'm the most closest thing to Lady Rhea. 
and they have not fucking established that you're... Ex- they, they don't give you a way to date Rhea, so, like, it kind of has to go the next best thing. Right, which is me. Yeah. Because, like, hell, you're touching Flame. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, any of the siblings. Yeah, no, because... They're, they're too busy being like, I'm just a creature forever now. Yeah. I guess I'm just a giant turtle. Yeah. <laughs> and they're, they're like a griffin, too. Yeah. Hey. You seem pensive. Have you been thinking over the advice I gave you? Yeah, but it kind of scares me. Scares you? Why? If I found something else I was more interested in than repaying Lady Rhea, I don't know. Wouldn't that be kind of like I was betraying Lady Rhea? No. Way? At some point, you kind of got to live your life, dude. Words, mm-hmm. don't you think? Well, I mean, Lady Rhea is why I got this life. Or any life. Pop in from time to time. Exactly. Her. Watch how she doesn't age. That just seems real ungrateful and kind of rude. If Rhea herself felt betrayed by your actions, then yes. I suppose it would be. But if all you are doing is seeking your path, with no harm to her, I do not think she would object. And right now, she's not here to object. (laughs) Yeah, so fucking go hog wild, dude. Yeah. (laughs) Ask her yourself when she returns. You will see. You want to make Rhea happy, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. Then you should do what makes you happy. Okay, I get that, yeah. By the way, I like that he's kind of like a dad to Cyril, too. Yeah, it's cute. Thought? Before, whenever we'd talk, you always used to call Lady Rhea the Archbishop. But just now... Well, she's not here. Just now, you were calling her Rhea. Shit, 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 Seth leaves. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I need to draw new batteries on my watch. <laughs> So, in a more formal context, I must maintain a deferential distance. But she and I are actually very old friends. In fact, we think of one another almost like family. I know Rhea extremely well. When I am confident about how she will feel, I am seldom wrong. So trust me when I say that if your path to happiness takes you away from her, she will wish you the best. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. But this woman's nice to me. (laughs) <laughs> that blush is not look good on his model. <laughs> no, it's because they don't understand that like people with darker skin tones, their their blush can be a little darker. Yeah, uh, it's like have bright, to be bright pink. Yeah, it just be like that. And those guys will get it too. They're part of these. Felix, want to play more Fruit Ninja? I got, I got. I got different things that aren't as fruity. Veggie Ninja! So here's babies I'll toss up into the air this time. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. You still have a problem with that? No, I do not have a problem with it at all. I simply want you to live too. Oh, okay. Then I'll get back to my train. <laughs> He's like, uh, oh, thanks. I'm not finished yet. During this time of war, you must wield your sword to ensure your own life. If that is the case, then it follows that we should bring an end to this war. To end the war, you'd have to kill more people. Perhaps that is true. But once all is said and done, there would no longer be a need to kill, only to live. Is that not so? <laughs> Goddamn, why do you have to come at me with this logic? That's pure fantasy. But if it came to pass, there would be no place for me. What would I do? I was raised to swing a sword. That's all I know. In a world without strife, warriors like me would be lost souls. It's tragic in a way. We fight to bring peace, and then, if we achieve it, we lose our purpose. I do not think that is anything you should worry yourself over. If the war ends and peace reigns, I shall be sure to have plenty of wood chopping for you to do. What a generous offer. <laughs> <laughs> and you will never be short on fruits and vegetables to chop for me either. If you felt like you lost your purpose in life, surely you would find a new purpose. It's called killing myself. It's not likely to be afraid yeah, that is like most of his endings. <laughs> Does he really? Well, yeah, like the like there is a path for me in peacetime. I'm intrigued. 
Well, I mean, like, it's not, like, directly him killing himself, but, like, he he does, like, they do reckless ways that it's, like, giving your sword back to Sylvain or something right, like that. Right, yeah. I can see it now. A life where you slice vegetables. Hey, Felix, have you wanted to be a chef? <laughs> I found this new game called Overcook. You might like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, like, apparently, like, in the, like, which we didn't really pay attention to him and stuff like that, but apparently in the fucking, like, like, crimson flower route and stuff mm-hmm. like that, he doesn't hold into onto power very long. Like, he always just f- kind of renounces that shit and fucks off. Oh, and, shit. like, travels the world and shit like that. Okay. And most of his shit is basically, like, fucking off and traveling the world and shit okay. like that. Because, I mean, like, he hates fucking his dad. He hates to meet. Right. Like, poor fucking... I was just thinking about it. Poor fucking everyone in the blue line to keep getting their dad stolen by Dimitri. No because kidding. Because fucking, like, Annette and Gilbert yeah. fucking put Dimitri. And then fucking Rodrigue is like, yeah. but, Gil- but fucking Dimitri. Dimitri. Yeah. And fucking, like, probably fucking the rest of them are so happy that their parents are actually physically present in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I also, like, I like thinking about the thought of Seneth sitting at his desk and Flank comes home and is like, Hi, hi, look, what, what's going on? And he just can't look at her because of what Man Noella said. <laughs> He's just like, it's like, God, I don't have a crush on you. Come on, just one, please. Anna. I'll pay for it next time. No can do. Do you have any idea how much is on your tab? More than you're worth was my bet. Ouch. It's been a long day. I just need a little drink. Why is she doling out fucking alcohol? Stays empty, your glass stays empty. Don't cross me. Anna's the night bartender. Does she sleep ever? No. Uh, hello, Anna. How much does she owe? Hi there, Alois. Are you asking because you intend to pay this lady's tab? Can't even begin to understand that level of stu- <laughs> um, that level of kindness. Who cares? You get money. What are you doing? I'm in your debt, Catherine. You've saved me countless times. So instead of me giving money to these people, give money to Anna. So I use that money for your tab. Don't say that in front of Anna. <laughs> She's like, these drinks are suddenly a thousand times more expensive. <laughs> exactly. Of course I don't. Think nothing of it. I used to pay old Gerald's tabs all the time. You're such a fucking heart. He's very nice. Nah, that's generous of you, but I like naive nice. He really is. Not only paying my tab, but offering to buy me a drink too. Gerald would have kept drinking. He was certainly sure. I have a feeling that his and Byleth's ending is very <laughs> much like he about? just is surrogate kind of, dad. Yeah, surrogate yeah. dad. Honestly, yeah. Off the battlefield, he was disorganized about everything. That sounds like me. And to be well, honest, and you know his well, kid. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the most organized. When it comes to my debt, but I want you to know I'll pay it back. I appreciate that, but there's no rush. I trust you. You're a colleague, a friend, and that's true whether or not you pay. Boy, me. man, that got beaten out of me real fast as a fucking human. <laughs> but you know what? Like, I don't trust anyone anymore. Next time a con artist tries to bilk you, I'll be sure to save your backside. But your front side is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be with us. safe. I'm so relieved. I was just on a mission. I've gotten into you. I'm sorry. I Man, staff feels things. The yeah, they do. Students don't feel nearly as much. I've been a little afraid since then. Afraid that you might quit the Knights. The terrible Thunder Catherine. Afraid? I thought you weren't afraid of anything. <laughs> I kind of thought so too. I realized that I might actually lose you someday, and that's scarier than I expected. I've never felt this way about anyone other than Lady Rhea. Dude, you've achieved Catherine. Lady Rhea status in <laughs> Catherine's mind. That's <laughs> remarkable. It really is. And sisters in arms, but you're my only partner. I know you have my back, so I can focus on the battle in front of me. I see. Catherine, 
I have to tell you something. I've I don't like you. I've been firing at you this whole time, but I'm kind of <laughs> shitty and I keep missing and just hitting the enemies around you. So it looks great, but I <laughs> hate you. But I want you to know there's no one I would rather have at my side. Except my partner being alive again. <laughs> so if you know resurrection magic. Yeah, that'd be that Wait. They who slid there in the dark. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, can you fit in my partner with fucking uh, Nemesis or whatever. He's he's been dead a while though, so I hope you can uh, so bring Nemesis. him back. That's true. But I don't know how not decompose this guy is. <laughs> they bring him back. They're just skeletons. Wait, you said you wanted him back. <laughs> and that's how we start fucking like spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> that's how that Witcher starts. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, um, Lysithia and uh, who is it, Caspar? Just start screaming. <laughs> yeah. Skeletons. Ash. Ash. There yeah. it is, yeah. We can wed if you're that worried about losing me. So I may tire of your company. Damn, they're just outright <laughs> fucking saying that <laughs> shit. They really are. Jesus. That was just unexpected. If you'll excuse me, uh, I need some fresh air. Man, Catherine, you're just getting fucking kind of like confessed to by multiple people. <laughs> right? Who do you go with? Couldn't have done it without you. True. And that's it. <laughs> You're supposed to disagree and compliment me instead. Fine. In the past, you were reckless. Lately, you are less so. You are more considerate of your allies, and much easier to fight alongside. Whoa, now that that's enough. Getting compliments from you is kind of weird. Well, it was kind of forced, well, so I yeah. I feel safer on the battlefield when you're out there with me too. I always trust that you've got my back. I can't believe this guy voices Lorenz too. I can't disagree. Hey, you remember that time I He's like, I got two voices I can bring to the table. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> I can do vaguely nasally and stuck up. Yeah. Impact on me. After that, I decided I had to be able to save you without getting hurt myself. So I started paying more attention. I read your movements in battle and stayed out of your way. Before I knew it, it was almost like I could read your mind. An interesting concept. We have become a very efficient team, but you will never understand my thoughts. Not true. I know exactly what you're thinking. Then prove it. What am I thinking right now? You hate bugs. Right She's now? like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> let's see. You, uh, you're thinking that I'm a reliable... You're thinking about how to revive your partner. She's like, shit! How did you know? How did I didn't even tell you about that. Yeah. He's like, I eavesdrop. Come from different places. <laughs> you, it, yeah, Laban. seems like something she'd do. <sighs> she may just like hot off like her conversation with Catherine. And she's like, hmm. well, they're in the same place. So I <laughs> imagine she just turned around and <laughs> Catherine yeah. walked up the stairs and she just turned just around and Caspar's off. there. Yeah. Oh, probably said too much. <laughs> you did indeed. You'll excuse me. I gotta go find a hole to bury my head in. Don't worry, your wishes aren't so far from the truth. Now, shall we be off? <laughs> What'd you say? Uh oh, he just got chummy. Yeah, and he's embarrassed about it. All right. Huh? Wh what do you mean? She means her weight. She means you were right on the money, Caspar. <laughs> We have a bond. <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't mean fucking we date. <laughs> no, it just means you have a bond. Like, oh my god, a bond. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It will return 18 years. I'll get money. <laughs> in becoming a better archer? Um, yeah. I always want to get better. Good. Then you need to find another teacher. What? Why would I need another teacher? Because I said so. Have I done something wrong, Shamir? Not at all. Why do I need a new teacher then? I simply have nothing left to teach you. Nah, that can't be true. It is. Your fighting style is fundamentally different from mine. Oh yeah, he's a wyvern rider. I find a secluded spot on the battlefield and pick my enemies off one by one. But you, you're a Harry. 
Weave in and out of the battlefield, assailing the enemy with rapid fire. A sniper and a harrier? Correct. And your progress has revealed where your strengths lie. I've taught you as much as I can. You'll have to find a teacher who specializes in your tactics if you wish to grow. Hmm. Hmm. That means less time with you. No. You're my teacher. Everyone's That's trying to fucking get him to move out of the nest. <laughs> you, you, no, they really are. Yeah. yeah. Then you'll never improve. I'm fine with you, and I don't want anyone else. I only want you forever and ever. Yeah. She's like, I'm like at least 15 years older than you. Yeah. Also, I've been around you when you're a child, so no. It's a little weird. Yeah, that's like super predatory. Okay, Cyril. Let's forget this conversation ever happened. I mean, now, the only thing is she hasn't raised, not trained him in a way that's like, I'm yeah. interested in you in any way, right. but it still is fucking like a bad move for her to fucking, mm -hmm. like, I would say like, spend extreme time away from each other right? and then see, like, but fucking I, like, like, but like just without him having any like experiencing outside of this, yeah. like you gotta fucking push yeah. him away. Like, I don't know how much contact they've had in the last five years, so maybe, but still he's, he's Young. Yeah, he's, he's still young. Yeah, Cyril's a baby. 